In this video, Kevin and I are gonna go over our uh, likes and dislikes for the month of August. It's already come and gone. Uh, and Amazing how fast. Yes, it's, uh, Kevin feels like it's just flying wow. by. He yeah. really does. Uh, so these are the, the things that, even though we really like a lot of things that we try or we dislike things, these are the things that were just hits. Stand they were, <laughs> they, they They stood out. Uh, some, uh, most of them were very, very good, but there were a couple of things that were bad. And one of the things, uh, you can show that one, uh, Kevin and Andrew did this review. These are the Coney Allen Classics. We had bought a long time ago, we had bought the Coney Allen Classics popcorns from Home Goods, And the bags are beautiful. They're mm -hmm. absolutely, they're shiny and they're, it's like they spent all their money on the bag yeah. to make it to where you want to buy it, and they didn't spend the time to uh, for their recipes no, at all. because they taste awful. Yes. <laughs> the yes. popcorn was bad, and the chips are bad. So these were specifically this the bar, barbecue. the smoke and barbecue. I wasn't in that video, but uh, Andrew said, oh, you're gonna eat this. And once the video was over with, he does that to me. If it's something that he's like, I had to eat this, you have to eat this. And it tasted like beans. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't very good. It, it didn't taste anything no, like barbecue. It was, it was like it wasn't even made out of potatoes. It's like, what barbecue have these people been eating? Because know. that does not taste yeah. like barbecue. No, none of their products are really any good. No. So, when now, you as bad see as that them, was. It, when you see them, enjoy the bag, because that's all you're going to enjoy. Don't buy them. No, yeah. As, as bad as that was, this was far worse. <laughs> these are the Gushers, the Yo Play Gushers. What made these especially bad? was they had these like little, I think they called them like bursting beads. They were yeah, little pus bursting, nodules. Yeah, it, I said in the video, they look like Dr. Pimple Popper and they they do. Yeah, they kind of have the same texture and flavor as a <laughs> or, zip. I yeah. hope you don't know the flavor of a zip. Uh, I can imagine. <laughs> um, they were they were, they were good at all. And I have seen... And they were slimy. The little things, the little pocket things were like a slimy texture. It was, just, it was almost like eating boogers or something. I mean, it was just nasty. It was just, it was gross. just gross. The whole experience was gross. It was disgusting. So if yeah. you want a gross experience for your kids, hey, go for it. But, yeah. Uh, I have since seen the other flavor. And uh, I, there's no way when I we would... didn't try? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, I, there's no way I'm spending money on that again. Because no. it just... It, no, it even though they were cheap, it just... It was awful, the, and uh, it just did not work. Kids, kids might like yeah, it. Yeah, they like that the, Doctor Dreadful stuff. So yeah, then like they might like that. Uh, so this. yes, these are. Uh, there's no color to these. Um, no, these are labels. from the Walmart Bakery. These were the sugar sandwich cookies. Yeah, the chocolate. So these were the, um, they're, they're a white cookie, like a sugar cookie, but these were the ones that had the, like the birthday confetti Colorful sprinkles. sprinkles yeah. And then yours. Had a little chocolate, like they, little jimmies or whatever, didn't they? Have no. Like different ones. Uh, no, 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 no. I those, thought they did. The little long skinny sprinkles. They might have had those. I can't remember. I just remember them being like, they look like a chocolate cookie with a white, a big thick white cream. Oh, maybe it just did have a white one. I don't know. We've tried so many of them. I don't remember what they look but like. Now, I don't those, see any in there. No. The, I don't think they did have jimmies. I okay. think they were just white. There was a different one that had the little. Yeah. Those say, the thing about these is they say chocolate sandwich cookies, they taste like brownie. Mm -hmm. They taste just like brownies with a very, very thick layer of cream in the middle. Yeah. They're incredible. And it's not whipped cream either, it's like frosting. It, yes. So both of these were like five out of five. Yeah. They were excellent. Even the cookies were almost cake-like. Yes, they, they were wonderful. They were, they, they were excellent. And I shared these. Um, I gave uh, some to my sister. Uh, I gave some of each to my sister and some of each to Andrew. And both Andrew and my sister both said they liked the chocolate ones mm -hmm. more than the other ones because they do taste like brownie. Yeah, they were very, very uh, good. They're incredible. So if you've passed them by thinking, oh, they just say chocolate cookie, they totally should have the name brownie mm -hmm. on them. They should. Um, so then these, these are the Dolphin brand. These are uh, sorbets. 
and we found these at world market i don't know where else you're going to find them but they are they're shelf stable so they're out right on the shelf and when you bring them home you want to put them in your freezer yep. uh, but this one is specifically the berry and pomegranate i had the lemon and they're terrific but and they, they were very good they the also had what were the other ones called like ices or um italian ice or maybe something or something like that, like that. yeah so they slushy okay uh, or slush they were slush right yeah and they were more like ice crystals whereas these were smoother right uh so if if you can only buy because i think they're like three dollars a piece for two uh bowls if you can only buy the uh one or two i would get the sorbet yeah yeah they were we just like that creamy smooth texture yeah although the other ones are really good too i'm trying to show you the ones that kevin and i both have items from uh, so these were sent to us uh, from Danny and Connie in New York, and these are Howe's New York kettle chips. And this is the sea salt vinegar and the sea salt and cracked pepper. That barbecue. Um, yeah, all these were good. <laughs> yes, these were the best. I mean, they sent us like I don't know. They probably sent us seven or eight, or I mean, they sent us a lot of these. Um, but these were absolutely delicious. If I were to live in an area that sold house, this would be my overall absolute fa favorite flavor. The sea salt and uh, cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. I love it. Because it had a good pepper flavor. Mm -hmm. But I love the vinegar in yeah, this Yeah, the vinegar too. was good in the barbecue. Was and good. then you like the barbecue yeah. uh, the most. But these are very good quality chips. And I think I said it in the video, if you live where they sell these and you haven't bought them for some reason, you really, really are missing out. You need to try them because they're very yeah. good quality. Because maybe they're expensive or something. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Um, then, okay, we have this in common. This? Yes. These were sent to us uh, from Stephen and Angela and Reese and Brooklyn in South Carolina. These are Publix brand. It's Greenwise uh, Market or something like that, I think it's called. Uh, Greenwise is what it says on the front. This is the pumpkin seed and maple. It's a multi-grain square. And I have coconut. Yeah. Just a coconut bar. These were like the candy bars, like the, the brown, white, and red ones, or pink. Mm -hmm. uh, they were like that, just like compressed coconut. That's what these remind you of. It's just compressed coconut. And this one just had so many textures going that on. That one was really good. I and like it had a too. terrific maple flavor without being a chemical maple. Mm -hmm. So if you shop at Publix, um, these are ones to yeah. get. Very yeah, good. They were very good. I love the cut. I like just eating. I could eat a bag of coconut. Yeah. But so this is this right up my alley. Right. Well, and I like the coconut too. Yeah. I just but I also like, like that one though. Yeah. So they're very good. Um, then let's show this. <laughs> this is the Tickle Belly Desserts Edible Cookie Dough. Uh, I liked the chocolate chip the most. You have cookie dough. I've got brownie batter. Brownie batter. Yeah. yeah. I think I finished these off. Yes, he, <laughs> he did. On the couch, in yep. front of the television. Yep. Um, I didn't eat it all at once, though. You'd be proud of me. I think I had it split into two sessions. Now, if I had finished this off, I would have been able to tell you what we were watching at the time. No, but maybe. since I'm not the one that ate them, I have no idea what we were Don't watching when you point. ate it. No. Uh, but that's just how my mind works. I, I have events and foods go together for me. Uh, but these, we found these in the Kroger bakery department so mm -hmm. kroger has a cold section where they keep birthday cakes and things like that and that is where these were and um very good honestly i wish they would take a bunch of these and put them over with the regular cookie dough because mm -hmm. it's on the opposite side of the store next it's to over the with eggs. The eggs and milk and bread yeah. or not milk egg, they would sell bread. a lot more of these because people don't know to look I didn't know the look. I yeah. didn't know. Hey, I need to. Bakery. Yeah, I didn't know that until recently. And then I, I spotted these one day, and I thought, Oh, I've been missing out. I need to check this this case mm -hmm. every time we come in. I need to be checking this case because that's where the good stuff is. So now we check the the bakery there and every at Walmart time. Now. And it's so fun. <laughs> and and Meyer, we even, and Meyer, and Meyer we Meyer's make. got some of the cutest cakes. They got a monster cake that's just absolutely hilarious. It's right. adorable, and they come in different colors. Yeah. And I've seriously thought about picking one up for the kids just, just for the hell just of for it. the heck of it. Because <laughs> I think they would yeah. just be thrilled just, just to see cake. this big monster. Like a green monster cake. Something that's yeah. 
just just appeals to both just for fun yeah, you know cool. so i'm sure christina would be thrilled they look like cousin it walk in with a cat. is it cousin it the one that has all the hair yes yeah he's just like looks like hair coming off of yeah, two, big yeah, <laughs> two big eyeballs yeah and two big eyeballs but anyway these are excellent yes um, get little you, you scrape the tops of them and just get little spoonfuls of them at a time yes That's and you have another tickle belly this right one. there yep uh, this one is the mini cake the carrot cake oh yeah that was really good mm -hmm. um did we try this with something else too? Oh yeah, we had it, like it we had, like we liked both of them. We had we had like two other cakes. With yeah, that. we we liked them all, but the carrot cake one was our both of our favorites because yeah. it was just such a good flavor of the carrot cake and the the frosting was really good. I mean, everything about it was really good. And this was in the same area, same in the, area in the bakery. Yeah, I, like I said, the, you really need to look in no matter what store you go in if they have a bakery case look in the bakery case it's not all birthday cakes um mm -hmm. at least in the stores we've been in it's yeah. it's not they even have buttercream frosting in different colors if you want to yeah by, by frosting uh i saw they the have other, white and green the other day they had mint and mint yeah they had the, the green yeah was mint oh it was actually flavored mint it was flavored mint oh, yeah it said, i thought it was just green you know it said mint on it because i was cool. and one of them i posted a picture on my instagram it actually had oreo on it Cool. It was a cookies and cream Oreo, a whole tub of it that you could just, I guess, make your own cake. And if you want to yeah. use their frosting, then... Mint would be good if you had a, a devil's food cake, like the darker chocolate cake and put mint on it. That would that be good. That would be good. Yeah. Uh, so then uh, we have the Zapp's potato chips. These are the uh, New Orleans Kettle Style Evil Eye. Uh, these were also sent to us from Stephen and Angela and Reese in Brooklyn in South Carolina. Still haven't seen them in Oreo. No. Uh, we do have Zaps here, but not, uh, not specifically the Evil Eye. And uh, we totally, or at least I did, went into this video thinking these are going to be hot. These are going to be some hot potato mm -hmm. chips. They're not. They taste like spicy ketchup. Yeah, they did. Yes, they are delicious. I mean, they have some tingle to them, but they're not yes, like but, burn your mouth all hot. Yes, they are so good. And I'm worried that people won't buy them because they do think they're going to be hot. And if you stay away from like flaming hot stuff, this is nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, spicy ketchup, it is absolutely delicious. Yeah. If you like so, ketchup at all, it Yes. Time. And then you have some chips too. Mm -hmm. I have Tim's potato chips. I these, like these are too. extra thick and crunchy sea salt and vinegar. These were really strong vinegar, if I remember correctly. No, they don't smell anymore. <laughs> um, they, uh, they were really strong vinegar, and I like a strong vinegar chip. These were just really good, and the salt content. We also, we all both thought the salt and the vinegar went really well together, and they actually had some salt, where sometimes they have too much salt, and sometimes they have too little. These, these were just right, right in the middle. And they sell these uh, at World Market in our area. A lot of people were shocked that we had never tried Tim's, but these are made in like Washington State. Yeah, so way on the West Coast. But let me tell you, some the stuff that we've tried from Washington State, it's some good stuff. So there's no telling what else they make in Washington. That Roca stuff, those mountain bars, those are also. The mountain bars I, are good. We've talked about them again and again, um, but those are also made in Washington. We don't get them around here. It's that Haley and Brown Company or something like that. Absolutely wonderful. So these are good chips. If you if you see Tim's, you never tried them before. You should try them because they're, yeah. they're excellent. So I know we're repeating ourselves a little bit for if you watch all of these reviews, but I do think some people watch these wrap up videos a summary. <laughs> that don't watch. You know, if you don't have time to watch three or four reviews a day, because uh, that's what we do, then you can watch these videos to get a wrap up. And sometimes uh, it makes you want to go back and actually watch the video so that you can actually see the product. Like those gushers that were absolutely horrible. I've got a good picture of them at the end. Uh, yeah, that's a video worth watching, let me tell you. Okay, when so- When you run through stuff, I only have three things left. Okay. Uh, this, uh, I'll talk about these. These, uh, I only have their business card because these were Miss Scarlett's Gourmet Coffee Fudge and Specialty Items. Uh, so Asthma in Ohio sent us Miss Scarlett's Fudge and she sent us, they come, uh, they were big slabs of fudge. They were. And so that's why I only have their business card left. Was but that I, the one in the packaging? Um, um, 
in the plastic. Yeah. 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 So our favorites, I wrote it on the back of the card because there's no way I would remember out of all those flavors. Our favorites out of that fudge were the cookies and cream and the peanut butter and chocolate. You knew peanut butter would be in there. Yes, absolutely. And the chocolate. Yeah. The it chocolate was food. absolutely delicious fudge. You can go online on their website and uh, order from them. They're located in Pennsylvania, but it was excellent, excellent quality. I'm sure they come out with seasonal flavors as well, um, but very, very high quality good fudge. Fudge. So, and then Asma also sent us, um, these are C. Kruger's Finest Baked Goods Cookies, and um, this was the uh, finest sugar cookie with mm -hmm. buttercream icing. And this is what the packaging looked like. And somebody, uh, several people in the comments of this video said that these look just like another name cookie, like another company. And I'm thinking it was like a woman's name. And come to find out, I think it's the same company. I'm pretty sure somebody said that is actually the same company, but I don't know why this wouldn't have her name on it. But this is a brand out of Columbus, Ohio. So if you've uh, never tried these before, this cookie was like no other sugar cookie we've mm -hmm. ever had. It's very good. Totally, I'm, I'm totally not a sugar different. cookie person. No, and Kevin loved it. So mm -hmm. that's saying a lot. And then uh, Rachel sent us this Land of Lakes Cocoa Classics a Butterscotch and Chocolate Hot Cocoa Mix. Yeah, it was like literally eating a melted butterscotch candy. Yes. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was wasn't very, it? very good. The only problem with these is that you don't get much. No, the cup's only like this full. <laughs> it's like eight ounces, seven or eight yeah. ounces. I want a like. mug. I want to eat it. I want to drink it like. I want to like, eat uh, it. I want to eat, eat it too. I want to drink it like eggnog, you know, where I've got the huge glass. The way you're not supposed yeah. to. Yeah. Kevin and I could down a quart of eggnog. Oh, and a night. Yeah, oh, easy <laughs> because, and it's the worst thing in the world. For oh, it's you. the worst drink ever. But this, it's worse very, very meaning good. it's calorie wise, and fat wise, but and, it's yeah. absolutely delicious. Um, but uh, yes, these Land of Lakes Cocoa Classics and this butterscotch. If you haven't tried it, then you need to try it. It's very good. Yeah. It's literally um, like candy that's melted in the chocolate. Yes. I'm good. And then, um, yeah, I'll just keep going. Uh, this is the Clancy's, which is an Aldi brand. Lemon drizzled kettle corn. Um, the thing about Aldi's, though, is you go in there and you buy these things and you love it. And the next time you go in there, it's gone and they're never going to get it I know. Back. It, is, it is strange like that. It, it's very strange. Uh, now, I have seen things uh, that have been repackaged. For example, we bought it, it during uh, last Christmas season, we bought a trio cookie collection. Mm -hmm. And you got all three cookies in one box, all three flavors. The last time we were in Aldi, I saw the exact same cookies, but they were in individual packages. Not a multi-pack. Right, and the package was a different color. So you would have thought, oh, those are new cookies. They're not new cookies. They've just repackaged yeah. them. So they might do that with a lot of things and, and we just don't They're know. staple items they usually have, like the bars and the regular bars. chips. Cereals. And stuff like. Yeah, they have those. It's especially stuff. Yeah, they get them and they just, they go away. That's it. So I have a drink for you. This is the um, Alani. We mm -hmm. bought this at Target. I wrote, left myself a little note. This was specifically the Tropsicle. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. What I didn't know, and you all left me comment. I found out so much from comments, and I can't remember it all, but I remember a little bit, enough to get me by. Uh, you all told me that this the Alani is a whole line. They have a whole line of like healthy uh, beverages and foods mm. and stuff like that. We didn't know. I just saw them on an end cap at Target and thought, hey, we need to buy these. And they're actually made in Kentucky. Uh, yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. And so I thought that was very interesting. But um, I think you all commented that you can find their stuff in uh, GNC. And uh, I just think that's interesting. G GNC is not a store that I go in a lot. They are the it's vitamin expensive. shop. Yeah, they are more expensive. And uh, so I didn't know it was a whole line of healthy foods and drinks, uh, but this was absolutely delicious. And it's only 10 calories a can if you're looking for a really good energy drink. So now I have the uh, Intamin's Party Cream Filled Cupcakes. 
a limited edition. Uh, we had tried these a long time ago in a video and I bought them again because I didn't remember that we had tried them. And you know what? That's going to happen. Oh yeah. Plain and simple. When you have 400 videos or more. We have a lot. 800, more. something like that. There's a lot of videos. <laughs> Kevin has no idea how many videos. I've looked before. I just don't remember. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. Uh, but when you do that many reviews, uh, it's going to happen where you forget that you've tried something before. And we before. search for it when we usually find something. If we're in doubt, we usually search for it. Yeah, we're sitting, standing there in Kroger looking on our phone to see, have we reviewed this? Yeah. Or Kevin will find a new meal for his lunchtime review channel. And we're like, okay, has he tried that or not? Because it, there's so many that no one could keep track no. of all of those. So, if, so, it, so if it looks somewhat more familiar, we'll, we'll look. But this didn't look familiar to either one of us. It didn't so look we didn't familiar. I didn't remember doing it. Uh, we did another video, so there's two videos on these, but they were good both times, and they're still good. They're very, they're very, very good. good cupcakes. Um, it, they're a nice, moist cake, uh, and they have that um, that birthday kind of vanilla flavoring to them. Mm -hmm. And Intamin's is just an overall really they're nice really good. brand. Quality brand. Uh, we saw these at Kroger just the other day. I saw them at Kroger. Yeah, and they still say new, even though they're not new anymore. So. Uh, yeah, those those are nice. And then I'm going to show you these. <laughs> and then I'm going to tell on somebody. She won't mind if I tell on her. Um, these are the Pillsbury Heat and Eat Fudge Fill Brownies. We did this review. And you get four uh, in the package. So we did this review and when we did it, I thought this is something that Ashley, our daughter, that Ashley will absolutely love. So, we took the remaining three over to her place, and I said, you will like this. And not only would she like the flavor, but she, uh, she likes something that's quick, that she mm -hmm. can just heat up in the microwave. So, uh, she waited a couple days, but then uh, I asked her, I said, how did you like those? And she said, I went back and I bought three more boxes. And she said, and let me tell you how I've been eating it. She said that she's been taking this and heating it up. And then doing one little scoop, one small scoop of ice cream. Of vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Sure. I think we'd even said that. Did we say that during the video? I'm thinking we might have even said that. I don't that. know. That it would be remember. good with ice cream? I don't remember. But Brownies and ice cream always good. Yes. Yeah. But I'm thinking, well, I'm just thinking they're already 300 calories. Yeah, we don't want to talk about But yeah, I know. I know. It's a dessert. And actually, hey, listen. She's lost so much weight, she can eat whatever she wants. She's a little bitty thing. Um but this is her treat and so uh they were very good they are delicious we've only seen them at meyer mm -hmm. we've still only seen them at meyer um and they are back by where, like where the yogurts are yeah, yeah. so in the edible cookie dough and that kind of stuff yes yeah. that's where they're located so for our meyer it's in the very very back of the store uh, i don't know where it's going to be in yours but just wherever you see like the yogurt that's in behind the doors um, that's where these are going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're delicious. They are very, very good. If you like brownies at all, try them. And this was uh, kind of a, a surprise find. Uh, serendipity. This is the birthday cake uh, flavored ice cream. We found these in the frozen section of Walgreens, almost on the floor. Mm -hmm. So they're at the very bottom. Yeah, side. they're yeah they're they're like hiding them, and we only have three flavors at our, our our Walgreens, and who knows if we'll ever get any more flavors. Somebody was just telling me, you need to try this other. Um, I forget what they said the name of it was. If I saw it, I would be like, that's the one. But we're lucky to get the three we have. I know. I bet you we won't get any other flavors because they're. I don't think they're selling because people don't know they're down there. They're they're in the. You have to get in the freezer and look down, and then there they are, and well, there are these little. And Walgreens is not a place you go to necessarily buy ice cream. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's with the, if you got if you're sick or you got a sick loved one at home and you're getting their medicine, you walk by and go, ooh, that looks good, or I think they would like that ice cream. Right. You know, that's what that's when you buy ice cream. Exactly. Home. Yeah. But this was it delicious. Was very good. It is cake flavored ice cream with swirls of pink frosting, cake pieces, and sprinkles. Yeah, I'm thinking um, for I don't usually like birthday cake flavored ice creams too much, and I'm thinking I really like that. Yeah, one. it was it was delicious. Okay, I can do a couple now. Okay. Um, I've got the, this one is Dunkin' Donuts, the coffee bar. And this was sent to us by Pete and Nate. Yes. I, I don't have glasses on. Um, but this particular one is the um, creamy coffee treat. 
Just the coffee. It was French vanilla. Oh, that's it. Yeah. French vanilla. I yeah. Said, it's a teeny tiny little. Uh, the French vanilla one's by far the best one. Yes. It had a good coffee flavor, but it was mostly vanilla. <laughs> I think you you like the French vanilla the best. Yeah, I like the French vanilla. Yeah. I think you ha you like the um, hazelnut. Yeah, the hazelnut one. I like the French vanilla yeah. the best. But yeah, but they they were all good. They're yeah, all they very really very good. good quality. It's extremely creamy. It's, it's unexpected. Soft. It's a soft chocolate too. We haven't seen these in our area either. No, not way. at all. I mean, I haven't been in a Dunkin' Donuts lately. They might sell them in the actual store, store but I've never seen these anywhere else. I'm there like is one store. Dunkin' Donuts. I've never been to a Dunkin' Donuts. Um, there's one, and it's uh, not convenient to any place that we visit. No, no so, it's kind of, in the, kind of in a weird street for us. Yeah, different. It's a side of town we don't ever go to. Yeah, so we just don't ever yeah. get there. Uh, occasionally we'll drive by there but not very often not very often not at a time where we would even be in the mood for donuts yeah. you know so that's not going to white castles that's but the only thing close that's <laughs> right. the only thing close to it um this is the edward signature caramel apple cream pie um it it was a delicious pie it was a good pie so this is one of those that you buy in the frozen section and it still amazes me how many people tell me I've always seen Edwards and never tried them. I had a friend of mine that said that. They said, I've, I've seen those for years and this never bought yeah, them. Yeah, and they used to be in a bright yellow mm -hmm. box, and now they've moved to, to this, this marble, yeah, marble this, countertops. Yeah. I think they're trying to go for a more sophisticated look. Yes. Because, like, uh, their competition is Marie Callender's, and right. it's just a green box with a pie, a picture of the pie on it. Right. I think they're going for a more classy kind of look. But these are so easy. If if you, you get don't have one, to do anything with no, it. bring it home. And if you want to eat it soon, don't put it back in the freezer. Put it in the refrigerator yeah. and let it thaw in the refrigerator. You don't. Even, they tell you to take you it out of the it. box. You can eat it frozen if you want. To. I don't even take it. Yeah, you can eat it frozen. You can slice it from frozen. Um, but uh, you, I don't even take mine out of the box to thaw it. I just stick the whole box uh, in the refrigerator and then wait a couple of hours and it's ready. Really I good. mean, you don't have to do anything with them. And they're, they're absolutely sweetness overload they and uh, delicious. They don't have this particular flavor, but other flavor, their basic flavors, they sell in single slices. So if you don't want to buy a whole pie, Buy a single slice of the flavor you like and try it out. I think you'll like it. It's I really would good. think they would come out with this in the same I don't know. Slice. I've never seen their specialties in yeah, single slices. I don't like know. their pumpkin and all that stuff. They don't. They never put those uh, in singles. Well, yeah, because they're limited anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, this one is the market side, which is Walmart. Yes. Okay. Um, this one is the decadent pearl sugar cookies, and they were just sugar cookies, mm -hmm. but they had uh, they had these little beads of sugar, all of the pearls of sugar on top. Uh, some of the best sugar cookies I've ever had, and ever. Like so ever. what's funny is we tried that around the same time that we tried this uh, C. Kruger's, and even though they were both sugar cookies, they were completely different oh, yeah, completely types different. of sugar cookies, but they were both equally delicious. Yeah. Now, Asthma probably paid a fortune for this one, and I think those are only a dollar a bag at Walmart. Something like that. And you get like two or three cookies? Yes. I three. Think you, you get, get three, three cookies. Yeah. And so, uh, but both absolutely fantastic yeah. sugar yeah, cookies. Yeah, if you see these sugar cookies, well, especially, specifically the pearl sugar cookies, uh, they're excellent. These aren't like any other sugar cookies that you, hear you get. It, yeah. That's the sugar. The sprinkles, <laughs> yeah. And the last thing I have to show you is the uh, Funfetti cereal, which we are still working on. It is, we both. It's very, very good cereal. It's good cereal. We don't have a lot of cereals uh, in these uh, wrap-ups very often. We just don't. Uh, they're not, they're good, but they're not like a favorite. This would be a favorite. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I think I said this during the video. It's not a blow you away cereal, but it's a really, really good cereal. It, I, I think it's very good. So, like, you know, if you have your choice, you, you have your top cereals in mind that you want to buy all the time, I would put this in my top five cereals. That's how much I like it. Yeah, I could see that. Because I like weird ones, too. But, you know, I, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, this would be, if I, yeah, if I had a, had a top ten list, this would definitely, I think it would be in the top five, but it would definitely 100% make the top five. It's, it's really good. Yeah, it's very good. It, it has a very 
a nice birthday cake, cupcake, vanilla flavor to it. Not overpowering. It's good out of milk. It's just a, a, a dry treat. Mm -hmm. Or in milk, It's I think it's even better in milk and yep. it doesn't get soggy quickly. Uh, overall terrific so if you, cereal. If you have children that, that you like to give them a little snack in the afternoon or something, you can give them a little bowl of these and they can just snack on them right. watching TV or whatever. I remember when Andrew was little, we would make him up a, a bag of Cheerios, uh, uh, Cheerios for, for church to keep him quiet in church. And so this is one of those things that you could put in a little bag mm -hmm. for church to feed them and keep them quiet. So <laughs> one of those mom things. So. Okay, so my last thing is the Korean inspired seasoned pork belly bites. These are private selection, which is a Kroger brand. These pork belly bites are really, really good. They were literally like um, pieces of like fatty meat, like pork, bacon, whatever you want to call it. They were just really good. And the, my, the best flavor was the Korean inspired one. Tammy even liked these. I did. I really <laughs> did. It was shocking. Um, the only thing I, that I think was could be a turnoff for people is the is it has a fat on it. Let's just just be honest. Um, it has a little bit of fat on it, and uh, it once you put them in, once you open them, you have to put them in the refrigerator, so they get a little cold. If you don't mind that, it's not bad. But I actually took mine out of the refrigerator, we put them on a plate, and heated them up for like ten seconds in the microwave just to warm them up a little bit because that fat. It was a little too weird for me, cold. Right. Uh, but it was really good once you just heated now, it up. Now Andrew would have eaten that without even. Oh yeah, it. and and that's just me as a as a texture kind of person. That that was too much because I like I love cold pork chops, cold steak, cold chicken, cold pizza, cold it's anything amazing else. Amazing the things he'll eat. Uh, I like pretty much anything cold, but this the fat it was so thick on there. It would like me eating refrigerated, mostly cooked bacon. Right. You know, yeah. and it's just a little too much for me. Yeah. You know? the, but the, these were excellent. They were excellent flavor. And like I said, if Tammy likes them, you know they got to be good. Because she, she's not a meat stick or meat uh, eating I, person. I like meat, but I'm going to be honest. I don't eat a lot of meat. I yeah. just don't. And it, it, that's just... We just don't buy it. We just, yeah, we just don't eat a lot of meat. Uh, but now... Kevin has a lunchtime review channel and he reviews. I've been doing videos seven days a week. I've been uploading them. He's been doing the video. I upload them for him. Uh, but seven days a week, he uh, reviews foods that can be eaten just out of the package or can be microwaved. He does not use a toaster oven, a regular oven, anything like that on his channel because he wants to share things with you that you can take to work. So, I want to warn you, this video comes out today, comes out this afternoon. So, so, you'll, you'll so see people, it. people won't have, you might want to talk about that one first, well, I don't know. I'll, he, I'll mention that one. Okay. So, these are foods that were his likes and dis. Do you know which ones you didn't like or did you not have any dislikes? Um, I don't know. You might want to look, see if you had any, I think, I think in all these were likes. I think you liked no, I think that this one was not. No, I think that one you did like very much. Oh, yeah. I did. No, they must be I think all, all these are really high mark. And people said, uh, people say all the time, yeah. you're always giving things a three. Well, most food is a three. It's yeah, a think run about of it. the most mill. Most food is just a regular old It's just food. a run of the mill. So for it to be, to get a five from him, then it must be something pretty spectacular. And, so, and I have a few fives. So to make this video, you know that he must have really, really liked it. Well, so I ahead. have, I have um, Jimmy Dean. That's Jimmy Dean too. Is highlighted in this month. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll show you one that got a four. This one is the um, the loaded sausage bites. I stick little notes on there so I'll remember them. The turkey sausage, egg, and cheese. That one. Um, this one was, I wrote a note saying, um, that, that's right. The reason I only gave it a four, I would have given it a five, but the cheese wasn't very strong. But you didn't really get the okay. cheese flavor. They could have left it out. It really didn't make a difference. And those come in a cup? They come in a little cup and you just heat them up. They look like little um, sausage balls is what they look like. Little, little small sausage balls is what they and look like. And did we so, find those in the meat department? They're in the breakfast stuff. Okay. Um, where did we buy these at? Meyer. Meyer. Meyer was over there where the, um, in the meat department where the um, where the sausage and stuff is sold. Yeah, That's where okay. These. Yeah. Um, these, you can hold one of them up if you want. This is the one that comes out this afternoon. Yeah. This is the Simple Scrambles. 
This is spicy. They're both simple scrambles. Okay, this is spicy sausage. Yeah, you'll, I gave both of these five. Though. You'll see I, this one today. Uh, so that's the, the spicy one. This one is the turkey sausage. And what I really like about these, not only are the flavors really good, but the um, it comes with its own little cup of eggs. So the Kraken egg stuff is good. And somebody, we re recently heard somebody saying they did, really didn't like it. Bob on the radio. I like them. I like the Kraken eggs. I, the sausage, I mean, the peppers and onions are a little wet and kind of slimy. But, but overall, it's not a bad experience, I don't think. Um, these are better. These are much better because they, they already have that whipped egg in a little cup for you. You literally just pour the stuff in a cup and put it in the microwave and it's super, super easy. You don't have to try to cart an egg to work, which is... Right. I can't imagine. Um, but anyway, if you see either one of these, try them out. They're, they're yeah, very, you very, wrote very good. Cre you wrote flavor, texture, and creamy eggs, and you gave this one a five. Yeah. So, spoiler alert, if you watch Lunchtime Review today at 1230 on yeah. that channel. Well, the turkey one I gave a five as well, and, and I said it has almost a buttery-like flavor. And that one was low-calorie, too, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It doesn't say that, but yeah, yeah it was a lower calorie because it was, one, it was like turkey. it was only like 100-and-something calories for that. But, yeah, somebody that we listened to on a radio show, he tried the Just Crack an Egg, and we were both, I was thinking, I wish we could tell him about the Jimmy Dean, because Kevin likes the Jimmy Dean so much, and we know Bob yeah, would love Crack an Egg's a little or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, and Bob would love the Jimmy See, Dean. See, it has so. potato and stuff in it, where these don't. Right. Um, this is another Jimmy Dean. I'll just go ahead and do it. These are the casserole bites, and the casserole bites... Um, are like little sausage balls too. They're they're little balls of stuff. Um, this particular one is the French toast one. Gave it a five out of five. Uh, I wrote on here it was excellent um, cinnamon maple. That's what the flavors were. So you get a really good cinnamon maple flavor. It does taste like French toast, and the textures are good. Um, the calories are not necessarily good, but everything else is good about them. Two hundred twenty for five pieces. I don't think that's bad, honestly. No. Um, but they're pretty good sized pieces too. So. See those? Try them out. Um, they they make other kind too that were also good that just weren't as good as these. And those are in the freezer section. Yeah, those so are frozen. So these are in cups. And those, Refrigerated. Yeah, and those, those are, are frozen. frozen. Yeah. Um, if I go ahead and do these, you can... These, inside. we've only seen these at Meyer. Yeah. Um, I have the... It's Chicago Deli is the, is the company. This one is the Bagel Dog. And this is the Pretzel Dog. Okay. And they were... They're, what did I give this one? You gave this one a four. Okay, I gave both of them a four. The reason I put them in here is because they were just so unique and unusual. Um, they're actually a hot dog, which I really like the hot dog flavor. The hot dog had a, just a really good flavor to it. And they were covered in either the bagel, which gives you that chewy kind of bagel texture, or a pretzel, which gives you that brown, salty outside. Um, it was just so unique. And it tasted good that I wanted to make sure I put them in favorites because I just thought they were different enough to, to justify saying you should try these out because they were really, really good. On this one specifically, you said needs salt. Yeah, mm. the pretzel one needed some salt because pretzels, you know, need salt. And that's probably why I didn't give that one a five. Right. Yeah. And the bagel one, I don't remember why I didn't give it a five, but it was it was, it was good. And I actually dipped them in mustard, <laughs> which yeah. makes it even better. Um, this one is the all-in-one meal. These are new from Italy. We bought these at World Market. Um, Arabita? Arabiata? Uh, I gave these a five. They are a pasta meal. Um, it comes with a paper bowl, a wooden fork. Um, it's really cool. A pasta, and then it's not dry pasta either. It's a, I mean, it's a dry pasta. It's not dehydrated pasta. It's not already cooked. Um, dry pasta and a cooking sauce, which is your sauce and your all your seasonings and everything. It's just like you're making a pan of, of pasta. Um, it was just really good. Really good quality, really good flavors. The flavors were just excellent in there. Um, I actually said on here, the pasta was good and firm. I liked it. Uh, had a little bit of spice to it. It was just a very good overall flavor. The balance was really good and everything. So if you see these, like I said, we bought it at World Market. You can buy them wherever. If you so see them anywhere else. Cycle. Yeah, they're just sitting on a shelf somewhere. So last two, um, I have a Marie Callender's. This one is the Rigatoni Bolognese sauce. It's the number five. I, got, I gave it a five. These were a sausage. I like the sausage in it. The flavor and the textures were all really, really good in it. And you can even see the close-up picture. Well, you can see the picture. It looks good to me. It's really, really good. The flavors were good, well-balanced, seasoned well. Um, you know, that's, for me, it's all about the, if the flavors are, if it has flavor, 
Um, if the textures are really good and the, the flavors are well balanced, that's what I like. And I like to be able to taste the stuff. It looks like that beefaroni that I make, with, but I just use different noodles. Yeah. Did it taste like that beefaroni? Uh, I don't remember. It had sausage in it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. and the beefaroni, I use hamburger. Yeah, and this had this, the sausage flavor. You guys but I tell you what, we both love that beefaroni. We do. <laughs> um, but yeah, we bought these at Kroger. They were, of course, they sell them everywhere. And this one is a newer meal that just came out recently. We, well, at least we're just now getting them around here. They've been out for a little while. I gave it a four, but I did, um, after eating it even now, I'm still thinking about it. This one is the loaded potato soup with fried onion strings as a topper. It's um, Progresso. Progresso, sorry, I didn't say that. Progresso, Progresso toppers. toppers. Um, I gave it a four out of five. The, um, the reason I liked it is the... The soup itself was good. It, I just don't, that was the reason I didn't give it a five. It really didn't seem like a loaded baked potato. It just seemed like potato soup. You know, a loaded potato would have been some cheese, bacon. And bacon, and some other things in there. And this one really just didn't go off a loaded potato feel. It was more just like potato soup. But I absolutely loved the onion, crisp onion uh, topper things. That was the best part of it. So if they had elevated the, loaded potato part up i would have given it a five all day long because it was it was really really good you've said on many meals in the past that if they had put something separate oh yeah i've always had, said that yeah. and then it would be crispy whatever it is instead of adding it or instead of having it in the meal when you heat it up which usually gets it soggy right wait until it comes out and then add it yourself yeah. in a little packet so it's more for the company because they have to put it in a packet but it's better for you eating it. It tastes better because it's actually crisp the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, that, um, that, that's a good addition. And that you could have done, like they have uh, some other ones like oyster crackers. You can't just dump oyster crackers in soup and heat it up because they're going to be a soggy mess. They're going to be right. like little dumplings, if that. Right. Um, the worst offender is that is the macaroni and cheese meals with the crispy top. Right. They put this macaroni and cheese meal and then they go ahead and sprinkle the sprinkles on the, the the bread topping. And then you put it in the microwave and all that topping just turns into soggy right. bread. They you know, should let nothing. you do that. Yeah, if they would give me a little packet of the bread crumbs and let me sprinkle on top, it'd be awesome. Right. Well, so, he Kevin does have more of those. He has more of the all-in-one meals to try. Mm -hmm. uh, he has progressive. more of the Progresso. Um, and if you gro watch my grocery hauls, which come out every Monday, then it gives you a little sneak peek into what you can expect. Um, you at know, some point in time. At some point in time. <laughs> and, you know, he doesn't want to do... Uh, I remember uh, way, way back... I came out with like one week, I came out with like Hormel, 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 Hormel. And somebody was like, can you mix it up a little bit? Give us some, and I thought, oh yeah, they're right. I need to be putting different meals up every day. So that's what I try to do. So you're not gonna see the Progresso. You won't see them all in one week. You'll see, you know, hopefully he'll be able to review one a week, uh, but there will be more to come. And, and like I was saying, if you watch my grocery hauls on Monday, then it gives you a little sneak peek into things that we found because I say when I'm going through my grocery haul, oh, Kevin's gonna be trying this on his lunchtime review channel. So if you're interested, you have to check it out over there and you just have to wait for it to pop up. Another place to get a good sneak peek of any of this stuff is follow you on Instagram because that's true. Tammy posts, we'll take pictures. We don't buy everything we take pictures of, but a lot of it we do. Yeah. Um, sometimes you just take pictures of new stuff. Exactly. There's a lot of times where it's it's new, but it's not anything that I would ever be interested in myself, or it's just not practical for me. It's not something that, that I, I, is practical. Uh, but if it says it's new or something, I always try to post a picture on Instagram, which is Tammy's Clock, and I put the link below. Uh, so if you're ever interested, yes, you can uh, check me out there. Uh, I have a uh, Twitter, I have a Facebook, and uh, so all those links are below. Kevin also has um, uh, Instagram, but he doesn't post on there. I never post on there. Uh, and then it's mostly works related. Stuff. Yes, or if you make a metal earth model, you yeah, can I'll post a picture there, of yeah. that. So, um, I hope you all uh, enjoyed the video. This is the time of year for me. I, it gets really, really exciting because now you're seeing all the pumpkin stuff. The fall. You're seeing all the fall stuff, and it, it's always fun to see 
what are they going to come out with this year? You know, I already have know of some things that are uh, seasonal that are expected to come out. So I just can't wait to get my hands on them. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.